Good morning dear student this is your science class today we'll start chapter number 10 measurement so please open page number 112 of your textbook chapter number 10 measurement we all make measurement in our daily life whether we are in factory shop or at home measurement is one of the most useful processes in science and in our daily life it is done with the help of some standard value so dear student what is measurement measurement is a process which is important in our daily life as well as in our working place that may be a factory that may be a shop or that may be your home if you are if you are making a cup of tea so how can you judge how much of tea is required how much of water is required how much quantity of milk is required how much quantity of sugar is required by proper measurement you are able to know the quantity of milk tea powder and sugar required for making a cup of tea so measurement is very useful in our daily life as well as in most of the science processes and it is done with the help of some standard values and measurement is done with the help of some standard values that standard values are called as the unit of measurement sanjam please bring potatoes from the market shall i bring 2 kgs here this riga says to sanjam bring potatoes but sanjam ask shall i bring 2 kgs means if we say only 2 it is not convey the complete meaning but 2 kgs or kilos convey the complete meaning means if your mother is saying you please bring potatoes from market but you do, if you don't know how much quantity you need potatoes it is meaningless thing but if you know how much quantity of potato you need it may be 1 kilo 2 kilo 3 kilo it means it has a complete meaning quantity what is measurement it is defined as the process of finding out the size or quantity of something so measurement is defined as the process of finding out the size and the quantity of something which things you need in which size or in which quantity is the measurement whenever you want to get your dress stitch the tailor takes your measurement so whenever you are going to tailor for making your dresses first of all tailors take the measurement of your body after taking the measurement he will stitch your dresses unit unit a unit is defined as a fixed quantity unit is a fixed quantity used as a standard of measurement unit is a fixed quantity which is used as a standard of measurement measurement of length in our day to day work we use a scale to measure small length example a line drawn on a notebook suppose if your teacher is saying you draw a line of 7 cm in your notebook so what you do you will take this type of a scale and you will measure the distance 7 cm and you draw a line like this here here a line drawn of 7 cm this cm stands for this cm stands for a cm cm is a standard unit of measurement of length when you go to market to buy clothes with your mother you ask for clothes in meters why you are asking clothes in meter because the cloth merchant measure it with the help of a meter scale because that cloth merchant is measure the cloth with the help of the meter scale that's why you are asking clothes in meter for example 4 meter of clothes 
फोर एम ऑफ क्लोथ हियर एम स्टैंड फॉर मीटर एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस मीटर स्केल दैट क्लोथ मार्चेंट कट द क्लोथ बाय टेकिंग मेजरमेंट हाउ मच क्वांटिटी ऑफ क्लोथ यू नीड फॉर रिलेटिवली बिगर डिस्टेंस वी यूज किलोमीटर एज द यूनिट For relatively big distance, we use kilometer as the unit. For example, distance between Jalandhar and Amritsar is 80 km. This km stands for the kilometers. Now, conclusion: very small length is measured in cm. Cm stands for centimeter. Small length measured in m. M stands for meter, and bigger length. in km km stands for kilometer